Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We've got the Crazy Crocodiles going up against Vargi's Growlithe Pack in their first match of season number nine. Varum is out on the field for the Crocodiles while we have Impidimp out for the Growlithe Pack. Starting off with the Terrasalization is the Crocodiles. They're gonna change their Varum into a pure steel type. We'll see if that helps them out any here against this Impidimp. Impidimp's gonna make the first move though, as it goes for a Petal Blizzard. That is resisted. Varum. Varum gonna go with the Confusion. Doesn't affect the Impidimp, gotta remember it is a Dark type. Very Dark type being a very interesting typing. So those second type moves will not affect it as it goes for a second turn, this time Magic Powder. Uh, that does not affect Varum because of its overcoat ability. Interesting. And, and now it's going to put up a magic room. I believe that stops you from using items. Yes. So uh, that no one can use their items from now on until the effect ends. There goes Impidimp now. With the Aromatic Mist, that's going to fail. Nobody really landing any good hits for the first part of this match. There goes the withdrawal. So Varum going to raise his defenses here. Impidimp now. Goes for it with a wish. Okay, going to heal itself in the future. See if that wish comes true for it. As Varum. Goes for a Thrash. Oh, it's going to be locked into Thrash, and it's huge hit against the Impidimp. It's in the red right now. Impidimp, of course, still faster. Gets to go for Fake Tears. Eh, that is going to lower his special defense, but uh, I don't know. You got to do something about the Thrash, which is going to drop the Impidimp immediately. The first Pokemon down for the Growly excuse me, for the Growlithe pack. That's going to be the end of the Thrash, though, as Varum becomes confused. And the Growlithe send out their Shelter. There we go. Shelter. Going to go with its own Terrasalization here. It is now a Flying type. So a Flying type. Shelter against the Steel type Varum. Shelter no longer weak against the Stab uh, Steel type. Oh, it would have been neutral anyway. That's right. Water Ice. Excuse me. There goes Shelter. With a beat up, there are two Pokemon left, so it's going to hit twice. Not really doing much against Varum. The effects of Magic Room has worn off now. So everyone has items, they can now use them. Room is confused. It breaks through the, oh no, it doesn't. It hits itself in the confusion. Shelter looking to capitalize on that. Going for a stomping tantrum, that's super effective. I believe it would have been four times effective if it wasn't for the terrestrialization. So that actually did help them there, making it only Two times effective. There we go. There goes Varum again. This time it goes for a prismatic laser. That lands. Shelter takes a huge hit. It's just outside the red there. Shelter. Gonna need something drastic. Goes for a pedal dance, which is not very effective, but enough to take it out. Varum finally faints. The shelter is not in a good position. The crocodiles really. Really started off that match very well. Litten's going to come out onto the field for them. And only a little bit of health left. It could take out this shelter pretty easily. There we go. Litten now with the power whip. That's going to be resisted. So not the best move to use. Petal Dance is still in play, but that's also resisted by the Litten. Still does a bit more than I would expect there. Lit and take a bit of damage from the pedal dance. It's gonna go once again, this time with the Gastro Acid. 
And that is going to suppress Shelter's ability. Still in the pedal dance. Shelter only hit twice with the pedal dance, and now it's confused. So I will hit itself from this point on. Litten's got to do something. Hasn't really done anything. The close combat will knock it out, even though it's not very effective. That's going to lower Litten's defenses. Got to keep that in mind. But the Crocodiles were able to get past two of the Growlithe Pack already. The Growlithe Pack has to move on to their last Pokemon. Which is going to be a Hypno. Litten. Oh, starts with a Calm Mind. Gonna uh, raise his stats a bit. Not a bad idea, again, going against a stronger opponent. Raising his special defenses. Looking pretty good, I would say. There goes the hip now. Oh, it's gonna go for a power split. So it's gonna share its power with Litten there. Litten goes forward with a power gem. Power gem against the Hypno, not doing a lot of damage. Hypno looking to retaliate. Here goes for the court change. Nothing down on the field, so nothing to change. A wasted turn there by the Growlithe Pack. Here we go, Litten once again. This time with the Sunny Day. Ooh, if it gets to choose any stab fire type moves, that could be huge for the Crooked Owls. It's Hypno. Goes forward with a play rough. That does a lot of damage, though. Even though it's not very effective, doesn't matter. It's a crit. Litten at 9 HP. Litten, possibly its last turn, going for the false swipe. That barely does any damage. And Hypno with the horn attack. Finally taking that Litten out. Of course, the crazy crocodiles do have their last Pokemon as well. And it's Oink Clone. Hypno, faster. Gonna go first. This time with a Drill Run. Thought it would do more, but didn't actually do that much damage. This Oink Clone takes that hit pretty easily. And it goes for Fury Cutter, which is super effective. If only it could use Fury Cutter multiple times. I don't know if we'll ever see that in a Metronome battle, but still a good move to use. There goes the Giga Drain. Not doing a lot of damage at all. Hypno trying to get some of that health back. It's not working for it. This Oink Clone goes with the Water Pledge. Water Pledge actually not doing a lot of damage. Hypno takes that easily as well. Still anyone's match as Hypno takes his turn to go for an Uproar. It will be locked into Uproar and it's actually not doing a whole lot of damage. Usually you see up we're doing a lot, but that's not working here for Oink Clone. They needed to go for a different move. Poison Tail poisons the Hypno, and that could that could be it. That could be the final nail for that Hypno as it's hurt by the poison. It's stuck in uproar, so it can't use a better move. And Oink Clone is going to have another turn to attack. So there goes the uproar. Putting Oink Clone in the yellow. But it gets the attack this time, and it's a wood hammer. Wood hammer will do it as Hypno gets knocked out, and the crazy Crooked Owls win their first match of the season. I hope you enjoyed that match. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of the Metronome Madness League, and we will see you in the next one.